Welcome to another studio tutorial. Let's talk about creating modals. Now, modals are pop-up windows that are displayed on top of the current page. There are many uses for modals. Subscription pop-ups asking for users' email addresses, image light boxes, sidebars, hamburger menus, and so on. In this example, we're going to create a modal window that pops up when we click on kayaking and gives us more information. To create our first modal, we're going to click over here on our plus icon, and instead of creating a page, we're going to select modal, and now we have the basic elements of the modal window. We have a backdrop which is going to overlay a darker layer on top of our background. And then we have the modal base. And this is the area that we want to work with. So when we click on modal base, we can set the width here. I'm going to set this to 500 pixels. And we can set the height to 300 pixels. If we want to change the opacity or the darkness of this backdrop, we can click on this backdrop layer. We can change things like the color, or the opacity. I'm just going to increase this to 50% or 0.5. And now our background is going to be darker when this modal pops up. We can also set a transition for this modal. So if we come over here to the top bar, we can see that there's no transition, meaning this modal is just going to pop up. But we have a few other options here as well. I'm just going to click on scale so that this modal window will scale up when we see the transition. Now let's add a few elements inside of our modal window. For right now, I want to add an image. So I'm going to add an image here on the left. Let's add a piece of header text and some body text. So now that we have those three things selected, I'm going to resize this to be 100% of this modal window and 50% width. Now this text group, I can set this as well to be 50% and 100%. And let's make some changes here. I'm going to set this to be 14 pixels and this is going to have a heavier weight. And now I'll type kayaking adventures into the header and let's paste some body text in here. And we can set some spacing here like so. And now we've created our first modal. The next thing we want to do is rename this modal. So let's rename this to kayaking. And we can also change the URL here to kayaking as well. And now that we have everything set up and created, we can scroll up and we can see that we have our home page and also our kayaking modal. And let's click on the home page, and we want to drill back into this kayaking element. And as soon as we have that selected, we can see a little icon right here with an arrow. If we click on this, it's going to ask us where we want to link this element to. So we want to link this to kayaking. And now to preview this, let's click on live preview up at the top, and click on the preview link. And now when we click on kayaking, we can see that nice scaled up effect for this modal window. If you click anywhere outside of the modal, this is going to reverse this transition. And that's how to create modals.